So let's do one final problem. And again, we can just start this by rewriting our first given expression. So two to the four M all divided by 16. And we'll see which of these is equal to. And for this one, we have an expression up top where the base is raised to an exponent multiplied by something else. So we have a product in our exponents, which means we can rewrite this as an exponent to an exponent. So that's two to the fourth raised to the M over 16. And two to the fourth we know is just 16. So we have 16 to the M over 16. And 16 is really 16 to the first. And since they have the same base in different exponents, we can subtract the exponent since we have division here. If we have multiplication with the same base, then we would add those exponents. So let's rewrite this as 16 to the m for the top one minus the exponent of the bottom. So 16 to the m minus 1. And we do see that here. That's this third one that is equivalent. Now, the other two have different bases. They have a base of 4 and a base of 2. So let's rewrite 16 now. Let's do that over here. So 16 to the m minus 1. Well, 16 is really just 4 squared. So let's substitute 4 squared in there. And that's raised to the m minus 1. And we have an exponent to an exponent. So we can multiply these. So that's 4 to the 2 times by m minus 1, which will distribute. And we get 4 to the 2m minus 2. And that looks to be the first one. And we can go one step further since we know that 4 is really just 2 squared. So let's substitute that in. And we could also do that 16 is 2 to the 4th and start from here. But we'll start from this one. So we have that 2 squared to the 2m minus 2 is equal to our original expression. And we have an exponent to an exponent, so we're going to be multiplying. So this will be 2 to the 2 times 2m minus 2. And so we distribute the 2, and we get 2 to the 4m minus 4 which notice is what we have. So in this case, all three of them are correct. Now, one question you might have when watching these videos is how do you know which path to start with? How do you know where to go when to solve these problems? And there's not an easy answer to that question because in a lot of these, there are many different paths to go through. And a lot of this depends on experience and practice. After you do enough of these and play around with exponents enough, you start to notice patterns. Like for instance, 16 is in the bottom and you have two to the four times M or two to the fourth up top raised to the M power. And so you can see you'd have 16 up top and 16 down below, and that's a way to simplify. So with experience, you will start noticing patterns like that. However, if you get stuck on these, there is one main question that you can ask. And it's something that I often ask when I find myself stuck on any particular problem. And that question is, what can I do? So if I'm not sure where to go, I just ask, well, what can I do? And even if it's something simple, just rewriting this as two to the fourth to the M, from there, you might see your path. So when you get stuck, just ask, is there anything that you can do? Can I rewrite an expression in a different way? Can I use an exponent property in a unique way? Or you could, like in the last example problem, just start with the answers and try and manipulate it from there and see what you can come up with. So there are many, many different paths to these problems, but those two different strategies often work. Asking what can you do? or by starting with the answers and working backwards.